And we're live! Welcome, everybody. Wow, we Hello. got a, a good starting viewer base. Look at that. Dizzy's here again. No. Yes, I am. I know. Hold back your tears. <laughs> Big Otto no, says hi. Welcome. Welcome to Stony Making Big Otto and anyone else that's here. So glad that everybody could join us today. Jin, hey, uh, welcome, Jin. This music, man. Music, man? We really brought the spice last time. Yes, you did. Yes, uh, how about we keep it a little mild this time? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, and also my webcam is freaking auto-focusing again. Hold on, let me turn that off. I don't know why I always have to turn that crap off. Because that crap always finds its way to you. I know. Alright, but I've turned it off. I know. Music is beautiful. <laughs> I will allow that comment. Oh, what? Jin hit it. That's alright. That's alright. I'll stand by Jin's decision. But that was pretty funny. I'll stand by your decision for now, Captain. Mm-hmm. I need to find out a way. I'm just I'm looking at my alerts here. And by the way, the game is still loading, and that's why you can't see it. That's why it's black still. But um, I need to find a way. You see how below the webcam there are four little things, Matthew? Do you see that? Let me see. Like four. Yeah, <clears throat> the donator cards. Yeah the the first one is supposed to be recent subscriber, but it's only for Twitch. And the next uh, one after that is the top donation, and then the <coughs> one after that is the most recent donation, and then the last one is the most recent follower, which on YouTube is subscriber. So... Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Stony Mick. More like Stony Dick. Oh, I never even thought of that joke, to be honest. Well, you know, now you have. Thanks I also uh, did not have the chat in the on the side of the screen, so I have now secured the chat on the right side of my screen. Oh my god! I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do with this, that amount of spice today. What is a powder cannon? It is a cannon that fires cannonballs, uh, and you use black like. I don't know if is it gunpowder? Is it like saltpeter or something? Um it's something like that. It's like it's like it's like uh, I know it's a general like firing powder. Yeah, I don't know if it's gunpowder exactly. My EU4 campaign, remember? I think I do remember. No, no, uh, no. No big I remember. Auto. I remember, don't worry. And we I are thinking forget? about this is just this is just a thought, just an idea right now, but Matthew and I are thinking about potentially playing a little bit of Guild Wars 1. Maybe. Perhaps. Don't expect it. But just think about it's it. It's a distinct possibility that it could happen. Yes. All right, so when we last left off, we had started invading Canada, and in order to do that, we had to actually... How did we capture this? Hold on. Uh. Also, why can't I take control of my cursor? I can't select states. Oh, I'm in edit mode. Why? Stop. Get out of edit mode. Because you're a big old idiot. No. Is this a glitch? Because no. I'm in... I'm constantly in edit mode. Hold on, can I like switch map modes? Change to air map mode. I gotta get out of edit mode. Why, why am I always just click off of it? Yeah, but I can't though. Yeah, but no, no. I can't click off it. Click a province. When I click on it, it doesn't do anything. Please move the mouse cur cursor over the one of the highlighted provinces to reshape them and over the blinking orders. Reshaping the advancement area, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't do it. I can actually, I can actually edit the orders, but I can't, uh, I mean, after that, then it just keeps coming back up. Why is that? 
It's so weird. I mean, I probably should be able to do something about that, considering... Considering the fact that I can't actually make any other orders until I click on... Until I click off of edit mode. You may have an order that can't be done, but still registered. Try deleting some. Well, it would... It, that, that would be probably a good idea if I could click on delete. <laughs> if I could click on delete order, but unfortunately I cannot do that. I cannot do that, sir. Can I just, like, click on probing attack, and then I can just... That actually doesn't cost... Oh, no, it's... Whoa! A probing attack? That's oh, it. yeah. If I just click oh, on yeah, probing, probing attack... Probing your brother attack! <laughs> reload. Should I reload? I think I've had this problem before, and I feel like it's just fixed itself after a while. I don't know. Now I can click on delete. Can I just like, can I click on this? Can I delete that? And then do delete that. Delete this. Oh no. Hold on, just, wait now, wait, can I? I'm completely speechless. Hold on, let me make another offensive line here. Can I, can I do that? Did it do it? I don't think it did. So I did that, and then I clicked offensive line. Would you accept if your daughter married a black man? I mean, yeah, why not? Look, man, it's it's Stony Mick. No, it's Big Otto. At this, this point, time. oh, <laughs> Canada has a large Otto. has large wasteland areas. I think. I mean. You know, oh, just yeah, like a, just like America. <laughs> yeah, it's called California. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I can't Whoa. even see my divisions right now. Look at this. I can't even see them. They're not even appearing because it thinks I want to edit my orders and I don't. Sony Mix says, well, I'm, well, I'm never having kids, so no. So he's not okay with his non-existent daughter ever going out with a black man. I don't really see what the issue is. I mean, even if I had a non-existent daughter. Actually, I do have a non-existent daughter. Her and name I'm, is, uh, you know, And I'm okay. I'm Rebecca. still okay with it. I do have a non-existent daughter named Rebecca. I also have a non-existent daughter named Stony Mick. Oh! <laughs> oh, you just got dropped, son, like a sack of potatoes. I can click on battles to monitor them. So he makes says name is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. Oh. Well, I'm winning battles over here in these provinces, but my guys don't seem to be fully advancing. I think they just keep getting involved in battles, but I can't see that because I can't actually see my divisions. And here are these doggos again. What the frick? <laughs> Yep, the doggos. They represent the incomplete processes of man. Alright, so let's get experimental rockets. Jin says, yeah, you're winning battles, but having weird organization issues. I think what's happening is that, um... Is that there is... Th there's, like, several divisions coming in from these two provinces. I can't even click on them to show you. And... <laughs> um... And so every time they get close to moving, like, there's another division that arrives, but since it's moving, it has no organization, so they instantly win the battle. Uh, okay. No, still no companies I really want to get. I could, well, I mean, perhaps I could get an aircraft one. The fall of Rio de Janeiro. What? Whoa, La Plata's wrecking Brazil. After days of gruesome assault by Platine forces... My daughter will be called Angelica. Sounds good. Despite the city's immensely yeah. defensible position, the Brazilian garrison could not prevent a ca the Catit, the Catete Palace, and most of the city proper from falling into Platine hands. While fighting lingers in the hills and forests, regular Brazilian forces have been driven out and the battle is over. Much of Rio was damaged by the fighting, with Platine shells destroying the dome of Candelaria Church. 
and the real Grandeza Tunnel being collapsed by desperate Brazilian soldiers to halt Platine advance. Or Angela. Brazil is suffering the consequences. Yeah, the, suf the consequences of communism. The Platine soldiers garrisoning yeah. almost every tr street and columns parading on the city center, it's clear that La Plata has taken a major step in its war against the United Communes of Brazil. The Brazilian situation appears dire. Why can't I click on it? There we go. Okay. Uh, manufacturer. <laughs> um, ooh, close. This is close air support. I like close air support because it helps my army, and that's basically the only purpose of my air force is to assist my army. Where the heck is Sejin? I know. Where is she? Also, what in the frick? What is Piratini? And Brazil uh, well, is now know, authoritarian Democrat. Oh. Oh, man. Dude. <laughs> multiple oh, man. leaders slash decentralized government. For Brazil. Kill it with fire. And now Brazil is suddenly at war with Bolivia? Federated syndicates of Bolivia. Dude, Bolivia is going to get wrecked. The Latin American Union is basically no more. Oh, and Chile is a part of the Third International. The Third International is the one with the crazy witch lady. And also this old guy. <laughs> no, this guy. This guy, this old guy. In Brazil, we have a movement that wants to separate the south of the country. Sao Paulo to the far south. Where is Sao Paulo? Your mother. Does that ah. answer your question? I hope it does. Aha! I never knew that. Oh, we got Rebuilding America. We got that one. So we got industry and electronic things. And uh, let's, let's do Rebuild the South first. Because the South comes first. In order to get a new America, we have to have all three, Midwest, South, and the West. We don't have to have New England or the Pacific, but we can still do that for some free infrastructure. The West will rise again! Next to Rio. Oh, there- oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, so you have a movement that actually wants to separate and have their own country. Well, they failed. Because Piratini doesn't even control Sao Paulo. They just control Porto Alegre. <laughs> they got some bad allergies! <laughs> Okay, seriously, what the frick is going on with my army orders? Can I please stop this? Can I stop this madness? No. Can I just, like, save the game? And then... No, you'll die. And load the game? No. My internet crapped a bit. A brick. Be back in a bit. Cybersinian Mapper says, What did I miss? Oh. Let's try to just load the game. Like, this is not save scumming, guys. I just literally saved right now and loaded it right now. Sure you did. <laughs> well, they oh, all I say... I got a follower on Instagram. Who's this? Uh, is it a woman? It is. And if so, can I talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> Except I don't use Instagram. Who is this? I don't even know who this is. It's a woman, Alex. You know, one of them dirty... Oh, women. mutual follower with, um... Oh, also followed by, uh... Shem, which was, uh, which was my patron on Patreon. Sao Paulo is contaminated. Must be why they did not include it. Might be. Okay. Um. And it's still going on with my, my, with my army orders. Why can't I stop this madness? Can I please? How do, like, how do I deselect these guys? Just deselect. Stop. Go out of edit. Go out of edit mode? Why? Out of edit mode. What if I just delete all the orders? Then I don't have any orders to edit. And I'm still in edit mode somehow. How does... That doesn't make any sense. Blah. Front line. I mean, now I can Isn't make a new front yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I can make a new front line, of course. Of course I can. But I can't actually see any of my divisions. I'm gonna I'm gonna exit game and reload, because 
Uh, let me see. Look at random parts of the world and see what there is. All right, I will. But I'm going to hopefully try and just fix it. Just edit and get it over. No, I tried editing in order, and it does edit it, but it still won't <laughs> let me exit edit mode. Dizzy, where do you live? Florida? Yes, he does live in Florida. Yeah, yeah, boy. I would show you the province, but I can't click on but provinces you, because it's stuck in now. edit mode. Are you sure it's not just stuck in beast mode? It might be stuck in beast mode. You know, because beasts are unruly and don't want to listen to orders. Big Auto says, sounds like Texas. He's not from Texas. I'm gonna go get some water. I'll be back in like less than 10 seconds. One second. When you pull a Drew Dernal and end up in observer mode for no reason. Heads up, enemy UAV spotted. Beautiful eagle. You still there, Matthew? Yes. Good. So what do you guys think? I'm going to ask the chat a question. If, on the off chance that... Dizzy and I play Guild Wars 2 on my YouTube channel. Should that be on live stream or should that be a series? First of all, Matthew, what's your opinion? I mean, either or works for me, but I prefer the live stream just for the interactability. That's true. <laughs> the problem with that is that with the live stream, you can only do it for two hours. And then, it, and then it's done, unless you're okay with the viewers missing stuff. But if we do it as a series, then we could just play basically as much as I as much as we want, and then schedule the videos. Okay. Did you see what Big Auto said, Dizzy? Matthew? Uh, let me see. Uh, he wants you to say something. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> hello? Hands up, enemy UAV spotted. Just stick to the Marvin. <laughs> well, you know, Marvin, that doesn't really, that doesn't really help. I mean, we could do a series and then have, hold like live stream events for like things we're gonna do in game, like special events, like yeah. certain bosses and shit. And probably because Guild Wars One has so much gameplay, I might want to make those videos longer, like perhaps forty minutes to an hour. Yeah. <laughs> he he's not from Texas, Big Auto. Yeah, oh, no. Stony yeah. Mix says, I came back. Of course. Of, of course you did, because you only know how to came. <laughs> That's all you know how to do. Finding a land war in Asia. Finally, we're beginning to load the game. Here we go. We're back. Please. Oh, thank goodness. Now I can select states again. <laughs> Sony Mix says the internet keeps messing up. All right. But we can select states again. We can select divisions again. Finally, good. Oh, okay. No. Also, these divisions are very, very low on organization. I feel like I should... Oh, yeah. I can definitely win this battle. Oh, he has no attack on this. Do you guys see this comparison? Look at this. He has the initiative. He also has air support. But he's got... Uh, he's got 76 attack in this division compared to my 299. And that's fully supplied. Can you imagine how he's going to perform when... When uh, he starts getting low on supply. No, I can't. Can't even imagine. And also, Dizzy is not going to say that. 
Maybe have episodes and have streams as multi-hour specials. Um, could do that. Super weak divisions. Okay, yes, no. he does have super weak divisions. Nick, I'm not gonna say that. I think he knows you're not gonna say that. Yeah. No. I also don't have bombers. I feel like if I had bombers, then I could severely weaken his ability to uh, to resupply his armies, but. I could just bomb his factories. You could, but why? Stony Mix says you have no balls. Well, uh, he's about to have no head when I find him. <laughs> Elong says maybe the Canadians are just tired of fighting. Maybe the Canadas are tired of fighting. I can promote this general. Let's see if they can get any new. No, he doesn't. He's not getting any extra traits here. Isn't he like? Isn't there something that like he can? Yeah, there you go. Experience. So if he he fights a lot in certain environments, such as hills. Okay, hills. He's close to getting winter specialist. No. But if he gets another terrain trait, that'll be good. Okay, oh my god. They fight with hockey sticks. <laughs> My dream is to restore the Holy Roman Germanic Empire and live in Silesia. Well, don't let your memes be dreams. Is you can st are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. You're like, you went completely silent. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry, I'm focusing. <clears throat> Where's this guy going? Oh, this guy needs to... This guy needs to take out this division. We was snowmen! Oh, uh, the Cyberstanian mapper had wanted me to check the rest of the world, so here you go. Uh, France and Germany are at war, but they haven't even moved a single province. Um, so, there you go. There's, there's a little bit of forts on this border, but... They're snow traps, and that's why they are gay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, anyways... <laughs> Jesus. They're also fighting... France is also fighting Wallonia and Flanders. Wow, they're fighting... Wow! Dude, the, inter the Third International is fighting a lot of the world. Well, rip. Ripping pepperonis. And Greece. How's Greece doing? They're Social Democrats. I don't think Greece actually... Yeah, they don't even have a unique focus tree. So, dang it, man. What faction are they a part of? Oh, Donau Adriabund. Okay, so they're this this thing here. It's Austria's faction. Poland is completely non-aligned. They're just completely neutral. And as is Switzerland and the Italian Republic. That's hilarious. I will be Kaiser and I will marry the Duchess of Leipzig. <laughs> I mean, make your dreams come true. Yeah. Make them come true, my dude. The Republic of Iran. Iran is social conservative. Goodness frick, man. And the Kingdom of Burma. Okay. The Kingdom of Burma, but it's ruled by a queen. So, nice job with that name, guys. How's Mongolia yeah. doing? Qing. Okay. Qing still has quite a bit of divisions. Mongolia, I think, is increasing on divisions, but they've lost a lot of manpower. They used to have, like, over 800,000. Now they're at, uh, like, 150,000. They've lost so much. It's because they're trying to, like... First of all, they declared war on Qing, and that wasn't too bad, because they were able to fight them. We was cons, exactly. They were able to fight <laughs> Qing, but then they declared war on the Yunnan clique, and now they've got... <laughs> They've got two... They, they've got two enemies, both of which outnumber them. Like, what in the frick? <laughs> Passionate about this. Japan is just going with air production. Japan is, like, done with their focus tree. Yeah. Finish the Land Reform Act. Project Hiroshima. Project Hiroshima, two times 50% research bonus for nuclear technology? What? 
Demand Indonesia. They actually could get Demand Indonesia. When you do a Hitler and kill yourselves? A do a hitter? I don't think. I am not on my game today, huh? I suppose you could say that. Also, these guys do not have an offensive line, so I need to make one. I need to draw an offensive line here. That's going to be their offensive line. They can just go ahead and execute that right now. And then... Oh, I still need to take Halifax. Oh, what? Hold on. What? I can just march in with these divisions. Very cool. Assuming, well, I guess I'm assuming that they've got nobody actually stationed in the city itself, but... Halifax is eight victory points. Where is Kaiserreich, Ohio? Is he alive? I mean, I feel like maybe that reptilian creature in his sink maybe ate him alive or something. Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> we got the decryption here. We can get... We could get the nuclear reactors. Why don't we do that? Let's try and get nuclear reactors. Well, we already have those on the internet, Alex. They're called SJWs. <laughs> uh, let me see. If traps are gay, are gays traps? I don't. I don't think no, it quite no, works no, that way. Hide. Canada has capitulated. No. <clears throat> Huey Long has announced that the cowardly Canadian nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of American forces throughout the country. The Canadian government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated, and the American Union state is now in control of their home area. Though the war against what remains of the Entente continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for the American Union state. And we stole a lot of their equipment. Then again, I doubt anything could beat the Black Powder Trap Fest that was last episode, right? That last stream was kind of insane. Yeah. Kind of, kind of crazy. Okay, infiltration in depth. So we have now officially finished the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. So I'm actually going to go to Engineering. And we're going to continue with the encryption. In 18 days, we could get this encryption. What? No. Are we really going to do this? Hold on. Let's let's do synthetic oil first for, in 22 days. We can get rubber with that. Annex Greenland if you can. If I can stage a naval invasion. I don't know if I can, though. It probably beat me navally. Although, if they're capitulated, then I don't know how much of a navy they still have. <coughs> this, is also, this is an island here, so I need to stage a naval invasion there. Hacks. No, I'm not going to hack. <laughs> hacks. I call hacks. Oh, Iceland is a thing. I didn't realize that. I bet they don't have a unique... Yeah, they don't have a unique fo focus tree. I should have expected that. What if we go with the Union of Britain? Can you get, like... Can the Union of Britain turn non-communist? Yeah. Let's see, can... I don't think you can. Because 1936 Congress of the Trade Unions, that doesn't look like... I mean, I see a lot of red stars here. Political commissars? Revolution, hold on. Oh, that's totalists. That's for totalism... Uh, for devolution, you turn into... What? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what any of these red stars are. But this is Congre Congregationist Wing of the TUC. Okay, whatever. I don't really care. Because I'm gonna annex them eventually. Do you want to watch Black Panther? I will not. It's too politically correct for me. I don't think it's a politically correct movie. I actually thought it was a good movie. New Zealand is using yeah, water on land. It's what? Go ahead. It's not politically correct. It's just the politics around it are really annoying. Yeah, yeah. The politics around it are annoying, but... Uh, Wakanda is a fraud. I mean, the economy of Wakanda is very 
just one dimensional is only focused on vibranium, which means that it's it's not it's not going to do very well. Like, because when we yeah. see economies that depend on a single resource, like uh, Venezuela, <laughs> they don't work out too well. Yeah, yeah, they tend to be uh, mm -hmm, pretty shitty. <laughs> yeah, because then your government kind of goes into total real Wakanda is Niger. Dictator. 20 children per man. What? Yeah, uh, jeez. Also, Southeast, is there a naval invasion I need to know about? Oh, am I being invaded by the Kingdom of France? Dude, France, I think you got some other things to worry about, buddy. When you're the richest country in the world, but you never help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But when you never help the hellholes next to you. Yeah. I mean, to meet Mayor Wakanda does put up the veneer of like, oh, we're just a tiny village. Don't mind us. Yeah. And these people are like starving <laughs> outside, but nobody does anything about it because, you know, they're assholes. Yep. We have to watch out for Wakanda. It's like, yeah, but those people down there are starving, dude. It's like, why? What? Why aren't you helping them? Yeah. Because Wakanda, though. Wakanda, though. Yep. What about dem Wakandans? Uh, I don't know. What about your mother? Oh. What okay. about your mom is gay, though? Your mom gay, your dad lesbian, your family reunion, homosexual <laughs> communion! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna choose gentlists, because I don't really want to pay political power. Oh wait, oh that's still not paying up political power if you choose gentle. But still I want as little resistance growth as I want as as possible. I want as little as I want. Wakanda equals Ugandan knuckles but less dead. Wow. <laughs> so it looks like it looks like this is World War II, guys. This is the roster for World War II. Wait, Hawaii is in a faction? Caden Tricky, welcome! Your mom gay, hee <laughs> hee. Cyber Standing Mapper says, no you. Hawaii is in the Entente. Yeah, they're, they're even taking the uh, the thing for Entente friendship. Also, they went... Oh yeah, look at that. They have three choices with the future of Hawaii. They could restore the monarchy. Or the Hawaiian Republic. Or the Hawaiian Revolution. Support the Big Five. What is that? Or republicanism, which is market liberals, social democrats, social conservatives, and social liberals. If you support the big five, then you just get political power. Education expansion, multiculturalism, Hawaii's constitution? What they do? Multi multiculturalism in my country? Really? It's, it's more possible than you might think. <laughs> it's more possible than I wish they had a straight here connecting Haida to the mainland. Haida Gwaii. I know there's only 14,000 people living there, but... You know. Or this one? This Yeah, Newfoundland? Newfoundland? Why is it Newfoundland? Like, can I just say Newfoundland? That's exactly what it looks like. Newfoundland. No. And it's English, no. too. It's not even like it's a different language. No. Why are the British so frickin' weird? <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, no. I don't know why are Americans so weird. Oh, Yeah, they are. In many ways. Not even a British thing, just a Newfie thing. Oh, yeah, 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 because, um, Jin, uh, lives in Canada, so he, he knows about that thing. I don't know, dude. Cyber Stadium Mapper says, <coughs> That Kaiserreich mod for World War II Battle Royale... Have you seen the World War III Battle Royale leaks? No, I have not. I didn't, I didn't even know what you're talking about. Rest of Canada sometimes can't understand them newfies. The fucking Let's newfie. <laughs> Normies <Real> re- <laughs> 
All right, we're building, uh... Oh, yeah, we're building all this anti-aircraft thing. Uh, things in, uh... On the southern border. So that... <laughs> Building them and nah, man. For Caden Tricky purposes. says, Why do Brazilian people have big butts? Uh, because they cannot lie. So all that energy of not lying goes into their ass. And no, it, it, it all goes into their, their inability to deny. <laughs> <laughs> Those girls walking with their itty bitty waists and a round thing in your face. Okay. How dare they? Okay, now I know what the Cyber Stanian Mapper is talking about. Also, the Kingdom of France. Aha! Uh -huh. Hi guys. <clears throat> Hi. Don't you mean the Don't you mean the Kang Kingdom of France? And the Kang. Every man a Kingdom. <laughs> Every woman a thought. <laughs> Whenever I see the picture, what you think is an old timey voice going? Every man a king. Every woman a thought. <laughs> Yeah. It's of Huey Long, I'm pretty sure. The man of King! Every woman I thought! My dad even knows about Huey Long. He's a former governor no of Louisiana. Homo. Everything is homo. <coughs> Don't you know mo? <laughs> oh, France's divisions have quite high attack, but uh, still not uh, not high enough to defeat me. Every man, and every man not hot. <laughs> Why are we talking about that song? Can you answer that, Matthew? No. Me neither. No, France is still gonna be a piece of cake. Piece of kook. He's a cock. Oh. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Piece of... Piece of... Geesh. Geesh. Oh no, unpause. Unpause. <clears throat> no, stop. Hold H. I gotta hold H. There we go. And now, attack and attack. And these guys are encircled now, which is a minus 30% penalty to attack and defense. Look, Alex, if anything in life you need to know, it's he attack. He attacked, and most importantly, he got back. Oh, yeah. He attack? Yeah. He protect? But most importantly, he back. Yep. He back, back. Back again, again. Because he's back, back. Back with friend. <laughs> and they're here to break your kneecaps. Dabs with a fidget spinner and Tide Pod. <laughs> Whoa. Getting real spicy there for about, you know, a they... week. Have they Maybe two. actually captured New Orleans? I don't think they have. Nolan? I hate when people say that, dude. Nolan! Even when people... Nolan! Even people that live there don't say that. Nolan! Dude, on my latest Instagram picture, where I posted a picture of me being terrified out of my frickin' mind on Fallout New Vegas, there was this account that liked the picture called free jav for me uh, okay why <laughs> why did they like that picture sure did la plata look took five states federated uh, syndicates of bolivia was annexed so once again communism dying as it should Oh, dude, you're never gonna do this. They do have a naval base, so they can bring more divisions, but they, it's just... He's completely surrounded. He's completely encircled. He got wrecked, even though he captured Biloxi. And more, most importantly, he prays to Kek. When you, you pray, pray to Kek, you gotta face Kekistan. Hold on, what is this? How did... Oh, Russia? Russia landed in New Orleans? Uh-oh. Ruska? Ruska Buska? Sam Buska? What in the darnation of Sam Hill is going on? I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I 
I've got to get some people over here. Uh, let's, can we just, like, prepare a naval invasion here? No. Do from here to here? There we go. I can only assign 10 divisions toward it. I'm going to have to actually, like, change research so I can have a higher capacity naval invasion, but... We're all sons of bitches now, apparently. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Cook's Beast! I don't even know what that is. I don't know either. I think it might be a parody of Siglier, which is the thing Russians say. Maybe so. Siglier. Goodness hey, fricker, man. Hey, yo, Pablo, uh, Siglier, bro. Dude, have you ever tried uh, Bartle Dew? No, uh, no, I don't, I don't believe in your, uh, fakey new religion. No, have you tried, no, I'm talking about Bartle Dew. Have you tried Bartle <laughs> Dew with, uh, with, uh, when they do the Mont Licky? Nope. I don't believe in you that new age that? crap. No, I don't believe in that new age crap. Trump isn't my president, not ever hillbilly hillerty. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that huh? meant. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm terrified right now. We gotta fight these guys in British Columbia. They haven't landed in Alaska at all, but... They might! Oh yeah, dude, I can actually use Alaska as a landing point to, uh, to go into Russia. Oh. Okay, let's also... Then get improved centimetric radar. No. I feel like... Ah, oh, dang it, man. I, I feel like maybe I should have done the oil processing or the rubber processing. You know what we should do is we should build synthetics factories now. Let's do that. Shall we? We shall. No. No. Stop. You don't <laughs> understand the forces you're playing with! Well, I don't really understand your mother either. Wow. Apparently, I can build up to three of these synthetic factories in a state. I'm just gonna build a ton. Just build all those freaking synthetic factories. And they're very expensive to make. But I don't care. I don't, uh, I don't give a toss. But it is red Bernie. I don't like Bernie at all. But, uh, you do like Bernie. Because if you don't like Bernie, then, well, you're dead. Instead of feeling the burn, let's feel the Johnson. I, you, you know, know, okay, hold on. I'm going to post, on the Discord server, I'm going to post a hilarious Gary Johnson meme. Oh. On the Discord server, hold on a second. What if it is, in fact, not that hilarious? It's pretty funny. What if it is, in fact, not... And Matthew, you can look at it, and you can read it to our viewers. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, this is freaking so funny. All right, we got rebuilding this house, and we got free infrastructure. Missing. Oh, wait, that's my sister. No, it's in, in, in general. Oh. And what is a <laughs> what is What is a mepo? Oh, and what is a meme? <laughs> Okay, what should we do next? I guess maybe rebuilding the west, maybe? Rebuilding the west could work. I think now we've got, like, level 10 infrastructure in a lot of states, yeah. Look at that crap. Oh yeah, no, these, no, they landed in Florida? They landed in Florida? In Florida? <sighs> Guys, that's not, that can't happen. That is not gonna happen. The Blue Devils Division? Yeah, more like the Blue Sucky... Su I don't know. I can't I can't come up with anything. I'm so furious <coughs> wow, that they landed in Florida. <laughs> you're fu you're, you're furious? <laughs> the Furious. All right, now we're winning. Here we go. They're not even encircled. But they've got no organization. They oh, there you go. No now these guys are going to arrive there. They're going to fight. Booty holes. They're gonna fight, and they're gonna disappear. 
Nah. Can't believe that, dude. Even with like no organization and like low supply and encircle and everything, they still had a hundred, over a hundred attack. That's pretty high. But they're yeah. sending divisions to me instead of taking care of their, I guess, homeland. But it's not, it's not really their homeland. Well, they're only in here's Africa. Here's the rebuttal of that. Here's the rebuttal. Your mom gay. Oh. Yep. And what is a mom? She's gay. That's what it is. Okay. Um. Northwest Territory. Look at this giant state with only 30,000 people in it. <laughs> no! I don't wanna. You should. No! You must. No! Your mom gay! Huey Long. Canada will be destroyed. Crowd. Silence. Huey Long. And Canada has a high communist presence, presence and has oil. Crowd cheers. They do have oil, don't they? Pretty sure they have oil. They totally have oil. I don't... You know... Just, I just gotta find it. As soon as we find renewable energy! <laughs> Let me look. They have then, you know, two oil in British Columbia. That's it. It's it. That's it. Not even Alaska has any oil. They only have it's just it. two in British Columbia. Meanwhile, northern Texas has 280 and southern Texas has 300. And then, oh, and then southern California has 350 oil. Oklahoma has a 100. Louisiana is 69. And then we got like various little bits of oil in other states, like 10 in North Dakota and whatnot. We have plenty of oil. Mission well, accomplished. Yeah. Not, not quite. We're still trying to wreck the Entente. We got to stage a naval invasion here. Uh, insufficient intel to dare sending an invasion through the regions. New Newfoundland Sea. Newfoundland Sea. I'm going to say Newfoundland because that's better. No. Yes. Where's my fleet? In fact, it's, it's terrible. Here's my fleet. They're docked up. I have two ships and that's it. That's what you get when you devote all your dockyards toward... <laughs> um, toward building convoys. Let's build battleships. I'm just gonna change a bunch of them to building battleships. Or battle cruisers? What's better? Is it better to build battle cruisers or battleships? So do you have time to talk? Oh no, I'm not reading that out loud, Stony Mick. I'll let you keep the okay. message, but. Oh. <laughs> battleships. All right. Thank you, Jen. Building battleships, and I'll just uh, have them produce infinite. I'll still have 15 dockyards producing. Um, at least in vanilla. Okay, so I'll just have them producing that. I wonder how our rocket artillery is doing. Can we replace that yet? Oh yeah, that would give us a little bit more soft attack, more breakthrough. It would just reduce our piercing by a tiny bit and reduce our defense by a little bit. So I'm actually going to change it to rocket artillery. And then I'm also going to change this to support rocket artillery. Actually, it's going to make going to increase our breakthrough by a tiny bit, but it's also going to decrease our defense more and decrease our piercing more. I guess I don't really need that right now. I'm just going to do that. And we need far less artillery. We need far less line artillery. Very good. Oh, we actually we actually don't have a shortage right now. Let's see. No, 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 Sony Make. Not going to allow that. Okay, let's see when the day turns over if we have a shortage. Boom. We still don't have a shortage, which means we have actually produced enough. Uh, let's only have 15 factories here. We really need rubber. And we're almost done with experimental rockets. That allows rocket sight. I don't know what that actually does. What does rocket sight do? For produced rockets. Well, how do you freaking... What do they do? 
Then I've got to do rocket engines. That's going to improve our attack again. Rocket sights are terrible. Okay, well, there you go. Um, but then I do want to do rocket engines. That's going to be a good thing, because that's going to improve our rocket artillery. And in 25 days, rocket we could improve centimetric. Oh, rock insights are terrible, and the next DLC should fix it. Mm. Oh, well, there you go. Gotcha. But it means that for now, we don't need to worry about them. And chromium, for let's now, see some chromium. Now we don't have to give a crap! <laughs> are they, I mean, how much do they really need to repair? Strength, 93, yeah, just, just send them. Just send him to, uh, patrol. Whoop! I can't remove? I can't remove his own from the order, apparently. And apparently I'm fighting. I don't want the navies to be fighting. I should also produce naval bombers. Yeah, that's what I should do. Instead of strategic bombers, let's produce naval bombers. There we go. Only producing- starting out producing only two planes a month. But... That will increase as production efficiency increases. And I also want to research higher level naval bombers, but again, other stuff is going to have to take priority. Naval bombers OP. There you go. You could just use that instead of using a navy. I wonder if if we have air superiority in the area, will that does that count? Let's see. Let's put these guys in there and then let's just put like uh, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. And then move this down to... Oh, no. Get to 100. Oh, what? I have to actually move... One, two, three. And then I can set it down to 100. There you go. That's an air wing. It's 100 planes. We're gonna deploy it. Does air superiority count? Instead of having just uh, naval superiority... I'm wondering about that. Oh, wow. I wasn't kidding. Apparently that Belgium has ruled the games like FIFA, Overwatch, and CSGO must remove loot boxes or face fines slash prison. What? Yeah. Whoa. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I'm interested to see how this will go down. Uh, Belgium. You need a huge majority in air supremacy. Well, I don't think that's too much of an issue because... I easily have a majority in air spirit in air spirit. Yep, here it is. Now Belgium declares loot boxes gambling and therefore illegal. Wow. The gaming Commission has looked at Star Wars Battlefront 2, FIFA 18, Overwatch, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive and found only Star Wars was not in violation. Apparently Star Wars of all things was not in violation, but that's only because EA stripped out the game's loot boxes after its launch debacle. It is determined that FIFA Overwatch and CSGO's loot boxes are a game of chance and, are, and so are subject to Belgium gambling law. Goodness wow. gracious. Wow, risk of... If not, the publishers risk a print incident of up to five years or a fine of up to 800,000 euros. Oh my gosh. When minors are involved, which, mind you, Overwatch is rated T, so technically they are yeah. minors, the fines can be... The punishments can be doubled. That is interesting, and I'm wondering how that's going to go down. If, like, Blizzard is only going to remove it for Belgium yeah, sales or not. And apparently the Netherlands has declared some loot boxes are gambling. Wow, interesting. Yeah, that is, that's crazy. Now, um, okay, I don't necessarily think that loot boxes should be completely removed, but if you're going to have them in your game, be completely transparent about them and your chances of winning the really rare items and make it clear that it is gambling. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think they should be transparent about it. Also, Jin says if, if I lack the full range, I still can't do it. That sucks. I, I mean... Over the entire... I mean... I don't know. It's just like that. I mean, I would prefer Overwatch not have things like loot boxes, but who, I don't know. who knows? This might make a charge for them to change the system. I have no idea. Maybe. I mean, they're an American. I don't know because they're an American company. I don't know how that kind of thing would transfer. Loot boxes are you know, cancer between... on the industry. I mean, I'm okay with there being loot boxes for just cosmetic stuff, but I can't stand it. How? 
there are loot boxes for things that you should just be able to unlock in game that yeah, give you I actual like gameplay advantages in... Mick, I prefer loot boxes in the sense of MMOs where you just earn them as a prize and you get a random, like, assortment of shit. Yeah, like, you know, there, there's an actual Wars item too. in Guild Wars 2 called Bag of Loot. Yeah. Of and course, they have, free, shit, they have black line chests. They have black line chests, but... Wanna enter my free V-Bucks giveaway? <laughs> Yeah, that is again. That's super interesting. I wonder how like those companies are going to handle their their stuff now that it's illegal yeah, essentially no to idea. sell that shit in Belgium. Again, it, maybe they'll just alter it for only Belgium releases, but I don't know how you'll handle like how you'll. Well, no, Belgium. They're probably deciding it for the entire European Union. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Because it's governed from Belgium. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. Hmm. So, that would be a big hit to their market if they don't change it. Like, yeah. So basically, um, they could they could potentially just pull their games out of there. Like, if I was a gaming I company, if, if I was like CEO of a gaming company, I would just say, then if you don't want the system, then we're just not going to make games for your country. I mean, good I, luck. I suppose <laughs> that sounds like a. I don't know. They're speaking for the whole European Union, then that is a potentially huge loss in revenue. It, it could be a potentially huge loss, but it might only be a temporary huge loss, because there might be so many protests that they might make some sort of exception that, that allows them to keep the loot boxes. As long as they're transparent mm -hmm. about it, or as long as they change the rating or something like that. We'll see how it goes down, I don't know. Yeah, it's. I mean, you never know, because politics... I mean, governmental bodies... The larger they get, the more corrupt they get in general. And so, um, you know, there, it's, there's probably going to be some kind of corruption happening with that. Mm. Briberies and whatnot. Also, Germany and Middle Africa is things. destroying the Union of Britain. I just want to earn things like skins and game. That's just me. Yeah, well, I mean, me too. And in Guild Wars 1, all of the skins are earnable in game. Yeah. Except for like the costumes, but they're they're like Guild Wars two outfits, and they that that would they were only kind of like an afterthought in the game, and like when the game was already on its way out, and they were already working on Guild Wars two. Mm -hmm. Then they started making those, and they had some really cool ones. But oh, another random article. Apparently, Ben Carson proposes rent increase for Americans on housing assistance by triple. <laughs> hmm. Sure, that'll go over well. So I used to be okay with cosmetic stuff, but then EA crapped in the punch bowl, and now I want all loot boxes to burn. I mean, Guild Wars 2 I mean, has a system where everything that you can get with real money is cosmetic only, and there are many skins that you can unlock in-game, many cool-looking skins. Um, oh, yeah. Every new piece of armor gives you a new skin. Yeah. Um, now they do sell some skins on the gem store, but, um, yeah, you know, there are, there are a ton of skins that you can unlock in game and, you know, you're never given any kind of gameplay advantages just for spending money. And like the legendary weapons, like the generation one legendary weapons you could buy in the trading post. So technically you could just spend real money, but you would still have to spend like a thousand dollars. Or something, some crazy thing like that in order to get a legendary weapon just from the trading post. This game is running so slow right now, it's like crawling. And it's because also, if you like, look at these dockyards here, it's like, oh my god. Gosh, I can only produce two battleships a year? What is this? What is this? What is this? What are you doing to me? It's brutal. Yeah, yeah he's brutal. Dylan, he's just brutal. Informed, Dylan just informed me that he's taking a nuclear crap. Oh. Well... 
So considering one BS can take out 120 destroyers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I guess it's worth. But you know what? I call BS on that statistic. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so how real slow. Life works. I wonder if you can like, let me see, cruiser manufacturer that's heavy and light cruisers, small ship fighter. There's no, but there's no, there's nothing for battleships though. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not being as active today. My internet ain't doing so well. That's that's okay. BS are broken right now. Same with AC. What is it? AC. What is AC? Aircraft Remember. carriers. I bet it's aircraft carriers. Your mom called your mom gay. Your mom gay. We could get heavy cruisers and just like hire this company here because we have plenty of political power. We could change one. Just cha change this one to heavy cruisers. We could change the world. Ah, uh, that's still going to take so because, long. Because, you know, we was kings and shit. We was gangs. We was Kangs, Danky Kangs. We also don't need to import quite as much chromium as before. Oh, the EU is the Fourth Reich, but with no German flag. <laughs> there you go. I don't know anything about the EU, so I ain't gonna make assumptions. I just know America is pretty crazy right now. It's like people are being dumb. People are being dumb everywhere. Being... Basically, you can explain every problem in the world with one of two explanations. People are dumb, or people Wait. are weird. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm telling Mick, you, why? I'm telling about it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Stony Mick! No, Mick. <laughs> Not, at first, no. at first, I was like, "Oh, okay, that's a nice Space Jam reference." Nope. Space, more like space clam, huh? I don't know. This game is just crawling uh, along so slowly. Come on and slim, and welcome to the gym. Slim Jim. Yes, you got it. Ha ha ha! You're so. Fucking smart. <laughs> Let me change this garrison order. I don't need them to guard the coastline, just naval bases. Oh my goodness. Hyperstanian mapper. We don't need to do that. We I'll attempt to lower resistance. I suppose we could do that. And guard victory points. Okay, they're they're relocating just to protect the naval bases. What are you doing, Matthew? Um, hanging out watching you, my dude. Oh. I think they will have concentration. Jesus, concentration camps for Arabian people. What the fuck? I know why. I don't be because uh, terrorism. I guess I don't know. And then Man, I don't Barbarossa even know. They're oh, they're talking about the I EU. Just, I just judge people on a person-by-person -person basis. <laughs> well done, wholesome Matthew. You know, um, I mean, certain groups can be kind of like, what? And, but, uh, but what, it's but. like... <laughs> I, just, but I tend to... I tend to... Okay, yeah, nuking Israel. That'll be a smart idea. That'll never happen. Yeah, that's it's not just, I mean, any use of nuclear weapons in the modern day is gonna signal bad shit. Like, bad yes. shit for whatever country presses that button. Yeah. Any country wants to press that button, they're welcome to, you know, with the repercussions of probably the entire world on their shoulders. Yep. At minus, like, and the it one won't ally even be through, that agreed like, to it. it. It won't even be like nuclear retaliation. It'll just be like, oh, okay, we'll just. Yeah, it'll be like, you know, uh, what are they called? Plenty of embargoes and sanctions, and yeah, your no, no, economy no, no. It is would crashed. Be, uh, Moabs. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. 
Who is this that's attacking me? Who, whose division is this? Is that Canada's division? Yes, it actually is Canada's division. They're trying to land in Virginia. They're trying the to take my virgins. Did you hear me? What? I said they're trying to take my virgins. Oh. Oh no. I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. There are no oh, wow. virgins in Virginia. You've almost completely united uh, Canada and America. Damn. Yep. Look at that glorious the American, union. American union string. <laughs> yeah. I mean, now, I don't like the name placement though. It, <clears throat> it needs to be a little lower, like more centralized. Well, it's because of Alaska. But the thing is, um, this is not permanent. It's just because their government has capitulated. Once the war actually ends, then I could just puppet them. But um, I just—it's just under I direct wanna... control of them of me because I occupy them. I want North Korean to do this so Logan Paul and Jake Paul die. Well, I'm sorry to break the bad news to you, but we would have them intercepted before that shit would happen. <laughs> yeah. They'd um, have an easier oh. time nuking that South Korea and getting away with it because, you know, that's their neighbor. Dude, apparently my naval invasion would actually be alright. I can actually well, funnily invade. enough. Your mother. Funnily enough, it has less. They have less of a chance of nuking South Korea now, considering they're going through with those peace talks, and something may come out of it. Yeah. Yeah, they're never. Going I mean, to I'm. South Korea. I'm. They're I'm never chalking going it up to in. Korea. I'm chalking it up to a mix of internal and external pressure, like some pressures from other countries, and also some internal pressure. Like yeah, internal they, pr they North probably Korean don't politics. see him as powerful, and so if he delivers. Like peace, and he can spin that as propaganda. Yeah. Yes, I totally agree with Jen. Zero percent chance that they would ever nuke South Korea, even if there is war. <laughs> it's just well, to be fair, Mapper, I hold out even the smallest bit of hope that with time and effort, North Korea could perhaps come into a state where. It can be fixed. I, just I'm a in favor bit of, of hope. reunification, of course, under the South's government. Um, well, yeah, of course, but North Korea, as it is now, will never agree to that. That would of, imply a lot of South Koreans are like in favor of just keeping North Korea separate, because hmm. like even even if like we can sign a peace treaty and everything, they're in favor of just and I mean, of course, not all of them because they're all different, but. Um, just as, as set, they're, they're in favor of keeping them as separate but friendly countries because of economic mm. issues, Jen, yes. Um, uh, because you have a lot of people that were not properly educated and that all need jobs and also they're gonna like flood the south because they don't want to be there anymore because like yeah. the infrastructure is really bad and, and just... In general, like a lot of situations in the north are very, very bad. So, feel to okay. realize that there's so much investment. Mapper, in there's, there's the a pro Mapper, there's a problem with that statement. Soviet Russia doesn't exist. <laughs> Short term like, economic kind of instability. Gone. Yes, Jim. Jen, you're absolutely right. I completely agree with you. It's going to be difficult in the short term to reintegrate the North Korean people, but I think. Um, in the long term, it will be very beneficial, and I think we will see Korea gain a lot of power. Can you imagine seeing how economically developed South Korea is right now? Could you imagine how powerful a unified Korea could be? That's or at crazy least to a, think about. You know, not even like a not even like a one government Korea, just two Koreas that are mutually like helping each other again. Yeah, even if it's just that, like. Like to uh, like South Korea lending aid and advice and shit to North Korea to get its government, you know. Or if they have just like similar governments, just separate company or separate countries. Funny thing, still not a regional mm. power though. Japan and China are too are too strong, but they could still be Map strong on an economic scale. So, but Mapper, I don't think Joseph Stalin is coming back from the dead. <laughs> Plus. Even the people that liked the Soviet Union agreed that Stalin was a mistake. Yeah, because, you know, he was kind of a fucking madman. Mm -hmm. Who was rampantly hateful of, like, everybody. Like, not just 
the religious powers, like, everyone. If North Korea nukes Japan. I don't think North Korea is yeah. going to nuke Japan. I really don't. I highly doubt it. It's, again, especially if these because, sea stocks go through, because well, then like, tensions even, will ease. Dude, even if they don't shoot it down, and even if we, even if they are able to land a nuke, they're dead. They're completely going to get wrecked after that. They wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah. Or, <laughs> worst case scenario, China and Russia for a reason. Oh, well. <laughs> Then we will have to do a crusade against the thoughts. Oh. <clears throat> okay, then. Whatever you say, buddy. Every man a king. And every woman a thought. Every woman a suit. A suit. Oh, man. We've really got to get these, uh, these guys over here. Let's use the infrastructure. I think, I think this infrastructure is not too bad. <clears throat> over here oh here it's nine here it's five and they're going through maine as well and maine it's five and new brunswick is five and they're moving all the way to here which is five nova scotia <clears throat> okay oh, man i'm a simple I'm a, I'm a very simple person i just judge them as i see them you know as they come along i'm i i don't know i try it's to be generally friendly thing. with everybody Oh, I know. I try to be generally friendly with everybody, but it's not easy. Yeah, that's a complicated person that does that. Yeah. Simple people just judge people by groups. Yeah. I try to judge by character. You know, like you try. Martin Luther It's hard King. sometimes. It's hard sometimes. Because somebody goes up and if they, if they self-identify as a social justice warrior, you're going to automatically make mm -hmm. a judgment about them. Even if you don't want to, yeah. even if you try not to, you're going to judge them that way. I feel like capitalism was the biggest yeah. mistake in history, right under imperialism and Nazism. Cybersini Mapper, either you're a troll well, like, or you're a troll. <laughs> yeah. One of the two. <laughs> I believe that capitalism in, like, optional circumstance... Oh, I'm going to hide that message. No, oh, fuck, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <coughs> it's okay, I'll rem Okay. Honestly, again, I'm an idealist. I just want everyone to have a chance, like, to have that that strong chance of having a, ha a warm place to sleep, clean clothes, wa drinkable water, plentiful meals, but... <laughs> What did I say about how every like single that. Hearts of Iron 4 stream turns into a political discussion? I know. I know, right? I mean, to be fair, it is a political game. Yeah, it is, because you got the ideologies in here. Yeah. It's about, you know, World War II era politics. Oh my god. Yeah, I know they're just if fighting. Instead of a man on fire, he'll be warm for the rest of his life. Yeah, his life will be maybe, I don't know, five minutes? If that... <laughs> That's the point. Yep. In the Soviet Union, circa 1943, tanks line up in thousands, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take St. John's, and then hopefully they will be... Well, then they're going to just move their freaking capital to Greenland. Greenland! That's because they're running scared because they're idiots. You made one rush and waste his vodka. Oh. Oh, boo hoo. <laughs> boo hoo. Boo. <laughs> what is that? What? What you just said. B that, was, that was like boo hoo, boo. and it somehow sounded vaguely like Danny DeVito. Nah, it's Christopher Walken. Boo hoo <laughs> hoo. Speaking of which, his sequence leader... in the Jungle Book is like the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> I want to be like you. Oh oh. God, <laughs> dude, why? dude. There's uh in the base game of Hearts of Iron Four. There's a Republican Spain, and the leader of Republican Spain looks almost exactly like William Defoe. <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> it's hilarious. 
Let Hilarious. Me that the heart <laughs> has born. Really First we mapper. attack his heart. But but um Cyberstanium Mapper, that's that's his goal. He's trying to troll you. That's the issue. Oh, they moved their cap freaking moved their capital back to Halifax because they were able to oh, recapture dude. through a naval invasion. I'm looking at I'm looking at this other Discord and part of oh, bullyhunters.org was the most keck worthy thing in history. What? Okay, so there was this big thing, like this 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 big stir. This big like uh, organization thing called Bully Hunters. Yeah. That was like, oh, we see you sexually ha harassing women in games and shit. We're gonna come after you, and we're gonna get you banned. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, just a bunch of collective whiner whiners who don't know what the block button yeah, is. Yeah, basically. And it that. failed so hard. Like they had a stream and everything <laughs> to show off what they do. And it was so fucking fake. Like, the gameplay they had didn't match up with what it was showing, and the stream was, like, half as long <laughs> oh as, they w as, as like, they wanted it to be. And they weren't marketing headsets. What? That didn't even, like, that, didn't, that, were, that were supposedly endorsed by, like, what was it? Not Turtle Beach. Uh, Steve, uh, what's the company? Fuck. Jin says, what game is this? Uh, I think he's asking you, if, what game were they playing? Uh... Uh, it was like CSGO, but it was like fate. It was like fake out, and they were, and they were, oh yeah, Steel Series, I think it was, Steel Series headsets. And then later on, Steel Series, like, revoked them. They were like, what the fuck? We're not endorsing you, you fuckers. What? It's a sad story. It's like, you tried so hard and got completely fucked. <laughs> Cyber City Mapper says this like, game wow, is a this capitalist pig simulator unfortunately it's not um because um the thing is i'm super huge and i'm not playing as a capitalist i'm playing as a authoritarian democrat actually demo uh, democracies in this game are very very much nerfed like you can't do anything as a democracy all you can do is like guarantee independence uh no, Sony Mac, they're not actually, they weren't actually selling the Bully Hunters headsets. They revoked them. They were like, what? No, we're not supporting you. You guys are fucking, like, you were giving us a bad it was rap. It was probably some kind of affiliate type thing, and... Yeah, yeah, I think Bully Hunters, like... It was probably an affiliate type affiliate thing, them. like, with affiliate marketing, and, um... And Steel Series was like, um... Just so everyone knows, we're not, we're not okay with this. That's probably what happened. Yeah, okay, here, I'll read off the article here that, that kind of lays it out. It, it seems like a killer idea. Combat, sexist harassment, and online video games by unleashing hit squads of talented female players to slay the bullies. Yeah, okay, that, that's totally gonna work. Uh, <laughs> but after marketing agent... FCB Chicago launched Bully Hunters last week with a splashy live stream. The campaign was mocked by gamers, harassed, or criticized by harassment experts, and disowned by the companies it had enlisted as supporters. Within days, the agency shut it down. What went wrong? According to the agency, the demise of Bully Hunters was a case of well-meaning naivete colliding with an idiosyncratic, often aggressive world of online gaming. Others, though, say it was a result of cynical optim or opportunism that exacerbated the problem the marketers were trying to solve. Quote, finding harassment is a real honest god issue, which unfortunately has now been tainted by this insincere, totally superficial effort, says Rebecca Rothschild, a Chicago gamer and writer who has endured a lot of Rebecca Rothschild? Yeah, that's her name, Rothschild. Oh my god! Oh, by the way, from the, the main family. spearheader of the campaign, who is also the presenter on the live stream, is like, you know, against all this online harassment shit against women, and yet in her own stream, she's used the words like faggot and cunt and shit like that. <sighs> yeah, it's okay. Passion Project. Liz Taylor, which I think is her. Yeah, that's her. Chief Creative Officer of FCB Chicago said Bully Hunters was a pro bono project for the agency, <laughs> akin to campaign that has done on handgun violence, colon cancer, Chicago's bid for the second Amazon headquarters. Researchers have established that in-game harassment is a pervasive problem, and Taylor says she has a personal experience with it. Her teenage daughter endured online harassment so upsetting that she no longer enjoys gaming. Hit the mute button. 
Yeah, there were a dude, lot of people seriously. in the agency who had a passion around trying to make the gamer environment a safer, more inclusive place for everyone, she said. One thing they didn't have was experience. Kesh Keisha Howard, founder of a female-centric gamer consultancy and event organizer called Sugar Gamers, said it was evident that she, with discussions she had on SCB Chicago about the project. She said she was bothered by the idea that game girls or women need saviors to protect them from online bullies, which, yeah, that's fucking stupid. Dude. <laughs> she was also concerned about the title they focused on, which is Counter-Strike, a huge first-person shooter with a notoriously rough-and-tumble community. They went from the biggest barrier and didn't do yeah. the research on the game. It was easily torn apart by hardcore gamers who absolutely understand the title. Yeah, that's because in competitive environments, you're going to have shit-talking. Yeah, okay, so dude. Dude, okay. When I, when I have access to voice chat with random people, I don't use it because it's cancer, because it's absolute AIDS. It doesn't matter if you're I, a guy I, or a girl. It, yeah, Stony Mink is saying competition is competition. That's exactly right. If I, if I don't want to listen to somebody telling me that they had sex with my mom all night last night, then I won't listen to them. Jin says it's pretty cancer on all sides. Pretty much cancer on all sides. Yes. Oh, I forgot, too. The best part was one of the bully hunters was also playing one of the bullies. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, funny. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... Wow. Wow. That's pretty funny. It, it was good. It was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, dude, when I, when I play an online game, the only people oh, no, I no, no, no. Here chat it is. with Here it is. Sorry. are my friends. Not the bully... Not the bully, the bully hunter, but the damage was done. Online sleuths looking up gamer profiles appeared that a victim and a bully hunter were the same person. And the statistics on <sighs> harassment presented during the live stream were so out of focus, it was insane. They said like 3 million women a year or something were, were like victimized and harassed during gaming, even and though a study shows that it was like. Exactly. It was a fake fucking statistic. They faked it to be fucking, you know, like, oh, women. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing and, is, and okay, everyone yeah, else you should be you should be nice when you game with people, but at the same time, you should not be surprised when you go on the internet and somebody says something mean to you. Like you yeah. just shouldn't be surprised. Okay, here's at the thing all. about Here's the thing about Steel Series. The company's quickly put up a statement distancing themselves from Bully Hunter. Steel Series says its only role was to donate equipment and support the call for positive change and hadn't been involved in executing the campaign. So they gave their like products to them and they wanted to like be involved in something positive, but they didn't realize the shit show they were getting into. Yeah, it was an absolute clown fiesta. Jin says people take yeah. gaming people just take gaming way too seriously. You're right about that. People need to just just chill. Yeah, statistically, women are more into mobile and casual games. Statistically. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna be into, like, into, like, hardcore, but not as many. It's yes, just, there are, there are women happens. that play EU4 and Hearts of Iron 4, and there are yes, women that Mick, play... Mick, that is exactly, like, the statistics saying that women don't get as much into, say, like, computing careers or engineering careers, or don't like to take on as much responsibility as men when it comes to CEO positions. Guess what? People complaining about that? Being a CEO is not fun! Yeah, I know. It's like, and it also takes Being a lot a of work. Being a CEO can be hell! Especially if you actually care about the company you're running, <laughs> and not a, just a money grubbing asshole. Yeah, like, okay. Like, that's... Um, I don't know, it's just, it's just... Statistics are, are basically, at this point, like, maybe in the past, it could have been due uh, to discrimination on some level. And maybe even on multiple levels. But at this point... Um... At this point... It's pretty much the statistics are due to preferences. And mm -hmm. what's the reason behind those preferences? Well, I don't really know. But why do women often go into... Uh, teaching careers far more than men? I mean, I don't know why. Why are there so many more just women that, teachers? It could just nobody... be that a great many women have more nurturing, like well, they feel as though they're better at nurturing. Who even and knows, dude? Who even knows? But 
It, yeah, who knows? It doesn't really. even matter because nobody talks about the disparity of of the gender inequality in teaching careers. Nobody ever talks about how, uh, for example, in Korea, if if a man and a woman apply for the same teaching position, the woman is far more likely to get the job teaching English. Um, nobody talks about that. And, and the thing is, we don't really need to talk about it. If, if men in nursing are still ridiculed, that's true. We don't really need to talk about it if the yeah, reason is not because would... of discrimination. If the reason is yeah. because of discrimination, then yes, we should talk about it, we should call it out, and we should condemn it. But, I actually, if you look at the statistics, uh, there are many places in which women actually graduate from university, like, at a higher rate than men do. But and here's the thing: you know, when there are claims society. coming out about <laughs> when there are claims coming out about like discrimination in the workplace in terms of opportunity, it's not because these people want women to have equal equality of opportunity. They want them to have equality of outcome, regardless because they're of women. Effort. Obviously, obviously, they deserve the position. They're women. And if you actually take, like, if you take, if, if here's another thing: is the income gap. Because if you take into account, like. If you take into account all jobs, like all man jobs versus all women women jobs, and do no other modifiers other than that, then yes, like the income is like 77% of what men make. But if you actually narrow it down, I actually have an infographic where it shows, um, if you actually narrow it down to the same level of experience, the same position, the income gap is less than one cent per dollar. No, less Mick. I can look this up, but this can't be real. No. Well, Banning men from trip. what? From the military to combat? What? I see there's an article ti- Oh, this is from the Daily Telegraph, though, and they have a subscription service. No, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, Australian Defense, Re Re Defense Force recruiters have been told they will be reposted if they ignore directives to target women exclusively for most new jobs. What? What oh. the fuck? Are oh you fucking God. serious? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hold on. That's pretty funny. Reportedly banned hiring men in a bid to boost women numbers. What? Showed targets oh for men in 30... Okay. We sends out recruiter sent weekly targets send out new recruiters obtained by the Daily Telegraph showed not tar showed not targets for men in 35 out of 50 army positions but the instruction to recruit immediately if a woman came forward for combat roles okay and if she fails the boot what if, camp yeah what if she what goes to boot do? camp and she fails are you gonna just keep her and just have an untrained and undisciplined military because you have people that can't pass the boot camp. Just, just in the name of equality? Because all wow. your people are about to be... <laughs> dude, because all of your citizens are all about to be equally dead. Because <laughs> yeah. your military can't protect them. The frick? One recruiter told the Telegraph, well, anyone can apply. Only women will get the job. What the fuck? That's... Uh, it's a, but nobody talks only, about that kind uh, of discrimination. For Navy jobs... It says for Navy jobs, the document shows that only one of 18 jobs open will consider hiring men. None of the seven target Air Force roles are open to men. What the fuck? Why? But, but no, but if you, but if you tell this to social justice warriors, they think this is a good thing. They think this is Fucking progress. Stupid. But you know what? Look, I don't want to serve in combat. And I'm pretty sure that the U.S. military is not going to turn into that piece of cancer. So, I'm all right. <laughs> if other countries want to do that, I mean, in the end, it just means America's more powerful. <laughs> what, man? It's like, it says, that's no, why I'm, I'm sure it's first... taken out of context. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I'm proud of the first fucking female Marine who's come around in a while. The one that they, um... Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I thought it was like, what? 
But, but yeah, there was like that, that woman that they reported about being able to actually pass the Marines physical fitness like requirements on the on the standard. Yeah, she dude, was dude. finally in. The... Which I'm proud of. I'm like, good, you fucker. You worked your ass off for that. Yeah. Okay, dude. The Marines are the most well-trained fighting force in the world. And do I think they need to lower their standards just in the name of having, like, <coughs> just so we can get women in there? Like, no, if a woman can pass it, that's great. Let her in. But don't just lower the yeah, standard just anyway. so we get more women. Working in politics, media take, makes so much spins on issues to grab attention, etc. A lot of things are taken out of context. I do, be I do believe that. Google Sweden's feminist snow plowing. I don't even need to, because I know Sweden is... Sweden is a cesspool. Hold on, what is it? You know, in, in Sweden... Gender what? Dude, in Sweden they actually tried to ban urinals for men. And said that what? because because they and because they're trying to ban standing up to pee. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to like. Fucking, that's why we have a choice. That's <laughs> yeah, why we it's... have toilets and urinals. Yeah, but we they're banning the they're, they're banning urinals for men though, because because they say, oh well, standing up to pee is not the most healthy way to expel urine from the bladder. I'm like. I don't really care what's the most healthy way, because, like, eating a Big Mac isn't the healthiest way to get lunch, but I have the choice to do it. You're trying to tell me how to live. When Sweden tries to ban something, it's usually one politician that makes a statement. That's that's true that they're but still the fact oh, that they're politicians okay, make those statements. Fucking stupid. <laughs> the policy prior no no here it is. The policy prioritizes cleaning pavements and cycle lanes over roads. Why? Wait. Oh, because they want to be more gender equal and women tend to use pavements and cycle paths more. What? That's fucking but it, wait, stupid! Wait, but so it, many people is use it an cars. Actual, but is it an actual policy, though? Yes, it was an actual policy. Like, Stockholm's gender, gender equal snow clearing policy is not to blame for the traffic chaos. Yes, it is an actual policy that got passed. My goodness. That's fucking dumb. And they say, oh, oh, but it's not to blame. Yeah, okay, sure. Sure. The thing is, yeah. And, and, the thing is, here, here's the thing. In other, in in the Eastern world, feminism is not so mm. crazy. And what I've seen of it, yeah. What I've seen of it. In the Eastern world, feminism is is tackling actual issues like actual sexual abuse of power, because it does exist. Um, oh crap! I accidentally spent political power to integrate a state. Dang it, man. Um, feminism in the Eastern world is focused on just just treating women equally. Hold on, Megalia is pretty crazy, although mm -hmm. some things I do agree. Oh, wait, a lot of these things said usually fail in the legislative process. That's true. That's that's true. Usually, um, like there was a there was an American politician in like Alabama or something that wanted to ban male masturbation. And uh, call it an act against an unborn child. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it was a woman politician that wanted to ban male masturbation. Yeah, because having but your it men did, of course it didn't actually. Angry. That'll be great. Because it, I mean, of course it didn't actually pass. But and yeah. of course it's completely unenforceable. But yeah. But dude, unless you install cameras at everyone's home, I have met some. Korean feminists. Buddy! And... Wow. Um, and they are not... They're not crazy. They're not They're not using terms like mansplaining and crap like that. They mm. just want women to be treated equally in society. Yeah, I mean... Which in, is in something Eastern that countries, I can they're be not... for. Like, I can... I'm totally for <laughs> yeah. that. Like, I just don't call myself a feminist just because <coughs> it... it implies that I only fight for women when in faith when in reality I'm like an equal rights act, uh, advocate not an activist. Yeah, um, exactly. Megalia, no, I don't know what that is, Jim. 
like, I'm sure there are plenty of women out there who can say, kick my ass, for example. Like, and, it, and that's the thing. Even if men, by some weird physiological thing, do come out physically stronger, in a fight, strength is not all that matters. If you get into a street fight with somebody, it's about who gets the advantage in what way. Sure, a bigger, stronger guy could this is also have the advantage, an, but what if also, someone... Like, because I'm an equal white rights act advocate... Hold on. Megalia is a Korean feminist group. Oh, I'm scared now. Borderline hardcore feminist, but some things they fight for make sense. But some other things don't. There you go. That's This is also... Yeah, like, well, yeah, yeah. This is also why I'm in favor of gun rights, because... Women tend to just, just physically, naturally, they tend to be not as physically strong. And, um, like fighting against subway hidden camera. Yeah, that, that is a righteous cause in Korea. Um, cause some perverts, like, hidden hide- subway cameras? Yeah, some perverts go into the women's bathroom and, like, hide cameras in the toilet so they can spy on the women there. Ew. Yeah, so they can see women when they sit down to pee. Um, Ew. or so they like hide hidden cameras and everywhere so they can get like upskirt footage and stuff. That's Ew. really bad. Um, but uh, but yeah, the, I'm in favor of gun rights because one of the reasons is that it, the gun is like the great equalizer. And so, no matter if you're, like, extremely old, or extremely weak, or no matter what kind of disadvantage you might have in combat, if you've got a gun, you still yeah. have a chance. And yeah. so, you know, that's I'm, because I'm in favor of gender equality, that's why I'm in favor of gun rights. It's one of the reasons. Mm, so. yeah. Stony Mix says, yeah, there are stone. piss cams, whatever you're into, I guess. Okay, but then then make it some kind of staged thing in some kind of controlled video where the woman just says, okay. Like, where it's a porn actress, and she's saying, okay, that's all right if you do this. And it's just acting. Don't make it like that, because that, that's seriously non-consensual. It's like, you want more rage? Google the German migrant crisis. I've seen things about that already. <laughs> Goodness frick! <laughs> I don't even know what to do against, um... Uh, against the Entente right now. I really don't. <laughs> just gotta hide that. That wasn't necessarily that offensive or anything. I'm just gonna hide it. Um... <clears throat> Okay, let's see. What can, how can I strike back against the Entente right now? Because I don't have any navy. I can't really do anything against the Kingdom of France. I mean, what's even left of the Entente? Portugal? Portugal's in the Entente? Uh, oh, is the Caribbean Federation also part of it? Yeah, oh, the West, West Indies Federation. Is he? I think he's... Asking if you're still there. Yeah, where did you go? Uh, well, yeah, I'm here. I miss you so. Feels like it's been forever since you've been gone. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, the Domain of India, Ugh. Australasia, Australasian Confederation is also part of the Entente. But yeah, uh, Dizzy, just let me know if you get Guild Wars 2, because definitely if you want to stream some tomorrow... Guild Wars 1, you mean? Yeah, Guild Wars 1, that's right. You want to stream uh, so I don't know if you feel like laying it on. I don't, don't mind. On. I can I can rant for days. Oh. <laughs> but if we're gonna do a series, I think probably a series is a better option. We should probably do it on like we should probably it would be your Friday night. It wouldn't be on live stream. It would just we would just record just you and me commentating together. Mm -hmm. And then we could record basically for however long we want and you know. But then you would have to just agree to only do the story missions like when we can play together. Yeah. Could you do that? Oh god, please make no why. Uh... Oh no. 
I think I've heard Wait, things but, about Wait, but this. Jin might know something about this. Canada's transgender child laws. Oh god, yeah, I forgot. This new law in Canada could remove kids from parents who reject transgender ideology. That is, if your children want to be called a preferred no pronoun, you know, a child, then they can remove them from your household. Again, why is it so hard to identify as one of two biological sexes? Is that really that hard? It says I have to and again, I, I've talked to Alex about this. I think, I personally think a huge deal or a, a significant deal of modern like gender politics shit is because of kind of the stereotypical societal norms that were kind of built into place over time about what boys and girls need to like. Not what they need to be necessarily, although that could yeah. have helped, but what they need to like. Because, yeah. you, know, you know, the typical um, American idea of, like, boys and girls is, oh, girls like pink and dolls and cooking and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Boys like sports and blue yeah, and yeah. da, da, da. And I um, think that that's a part of it. Um, Jin says uh, uh, he was going to look into it, but again, a lot of things are over-exaggerated or misinterpreted. So, Jin, when you have an answer for us, I would definitely be curious to see what you say, because Jin is sort of like a voice of reason, to be honest, on this channel, because... Uh, he's able to keep a level head and to kind of, like, w just say, wait a second, let's just look at the situation before we make any assumptions. Look, Mick, 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 I'm not saying on average they don't. Oh, I'm no. saying that we shouldn't... <laughs> I'm, I am... You might be trolling me, though. I'm he's, saying he's on... Triggered. I'm saying that they should not... I'm saying that, that they should not be prohibited from exploring what they want to. That they shouldn't be prohibited from... from... <laughs> Now, to be fair, testosterone is a big part of why those kind of things appeal to men. Like, uh, testosterone is built into our, into our <clears> systems. <throat> but I'm saying... I'm just gonna, this is just what I'm going to say. Men and women should not be prohibited from trying different things. This, this one, see, you both you both agree. Okay. <laughs> Tony Mick got triggered for a second. This is all I'm going to say. I don't yeah. think it should be controversial I, I, to say that there are males... And there are females. That's it. That's it. Oh, I know, Mick. I know. Just because he likes dresses doesn't make him transgender. Because he's still biologically male. That doesn't make him transgender. At all. Look, again, and yes, Alex, I agree. I, mean, I guess we're in an echo chamber here. But there's two biological sexes. You you can't dispute that. There is only two biological sexes. That's all that exists. Yep. And the reason even in, for even identifying... Even in nature. Dude, the, the reason for identifying biological sex is so that they determine what they do in the process of reproduction. So you either do one thing or you do the other thing. And guess what? That's, that's the very purpose. Convenient... It's not some kind of, like, customize your character type thing. Um, Jin says, all I could say is we can't let our biases lead us to jump to conclusion. That's true. We got to do some research. <laughs> Stony Mix says, I can jump to whatever <laughs> conclusion I dang well please. Jin says, which I admit, I still do a lot of, but I try my best to be rational and nonpartisan. So we call them he or she. Future equals customize our character. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Here's the funny thing. Some people say, well, if you're not certain, use, like, like, use fucking, um, what do you call it? Non-binary language, which, it's like, but certain physical attributes of people lead you to believe what they are. Because that's how men and women work biologically. We are different in terms of our physiology. So I see a very, very effeminate looking man who could pass as a woman. I'm probably going to think it's a woman until I'm told otherwise. Yeah, I mean... Because generally. we associate, like... It, it's kind of an unconscious thing, I'd even say, but when you look at a man and a woman side by side, a bunch of them... <laughs> Jid says I'm always fit city. Yeah. Like... People are having their lives destroyed because of this nonsense. Well... <sighs> I mean, but the thing is, if you just if you just take a certain side and you just like berate them and insult them and that's all you do, then um, then they're just gonna keep doing what they're doing. You're not gonna change them. Oh, you I know. just berate and insult idiots. I I 
If somebody has a good <laughs> idea, I give them credit for having a good idea. On, and if I, I see something that's like scientists in America like, try to make people can edit their child before they're born. <gasps> yes, that's they they have tried to do that before. You can like uh, like change their hair color and stuff. Children have oh a right gosh. to bodily integrity. This is why I'm not in favor of uh, involuntary circumcision. Jin says, I I mean, yeah. how many people are actually SJWs or PC police? There are a lot of them on my Facebook friends list. <laughs> I've just got to say that. Look, Jin, considering in America there are cases of colleges starting to change policies in favor of over overtly social justice things like... like fucking you know you're the safe spaces and you can't say this and you have to do this whether you want to or not blah 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 it's more than you think my it honestly fear, is I, I my fear is not what the situation is right now my fear is that since they what it could be no. because yeah well Jin says because they're insanely vocal and the problem with them being insanely vocal is that they're leading universities which are a very key point in this Hold on. Whoa, hold on. Fate of Hawaii. Just let me just just pause this discussion just for a second. I need to read this event. Now that we have reclaimed the mainland of America, political eyes have turned outward and are wondering out and are wondering what we shall what shall we do about the islands of Hawaii? Many are clamoring for us to retake the isles since they rightfully belong to America since the USA annexed the islands in 1893. While a few say that we don't need them, especially since they are not white Americans. <laughs> So we could say Hawaii is American, or we don't need pineapples in America. Uh, let's do Hawaii is American, of course. Okay, so, uh, because they're insanely vocal... Yeah, yeah, I think Jen sees where I'm going. So because they're insanely vocal, they're changing universities, and that's a very key point, because if universities start educating people toward this... They can change many minds, and so even if it's a small percentage of them now... It could definitely be a big percentage in the future. And that is, that's what's worrying me to me. And that's, that's what's worrying me. So, is it a problem right now? No. But we need to keep an eye on it. We need to fight it where we can. Does that mean insult and berate them? No. Does it mean kill them? No. Because if you need violence to enforce your ideas, then your ideas are useless. So we need to make sure that we can get our ideas to win over their ideas in the right arena. Right now, it's still relatively small, but it could change if the institutions change because of a vocal minority. Exactly. Hawaii gives in. The Hawaiians have given Not up me. and joined America. Today is a great day, and the islands of Hawaii are once again now part of America. Great. Very cool. Not a me, Mayor Mick. I do, I do agree with you there that norms do partially form over time, or even a great part over time. Due to natural, like, kind of biological trends, like what what the two genders are more disposed to. But that's the thing. It's like we shouldn't we shouldn't establish them as like these are concrete and you will follow them, or if you don't follow them, you're a weirdo. Like a woman who wants to be a kickboxer or, or a wrestler or something. It's like that should not be weird. Or a bodybuilder. That should not be weird. It yeah, shouldn't I mean, be like, just, why is she going outside the norm? And also yeah, accept that there's a reason why there's a normal thing. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's like it's like the fucking the, the stupid dumbasses out there who are like, women should get back in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, you that's know, dumb. That, those kind of, <laughs> it's because of those kind of idiots, the traditionalists, who think that we need to be held, that everyone needs to be held back in their little boxes. And there is something to be said That's for what I'm talking maintaining about. a sense of tradition, provided the trans, uh, provided the transition, provided the tradition works, provided there's a good reason for a tradition. However, mm -hmm. I mean, like, say, like, there like, are some traditions that are not okay. Yeah, it's like say native traditions. Like, if somebody celebrates, like, like the Day of the Dead, the Day of the Dead is a is a thing that doesn't really need to go. It's a it's, it's, it's a it's like a, a national. Kind of like a a way to to honor your ancestors and things like that, and I mean, yes, it's a that, celebration. Yeah, it's a holiday. It's it's not interfering with anything. It's actually a part of cultural identity. And I've been one... been around in Mexico for you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah, uh, I for one don't like the tradition identity. of circumcision. Yeah, I don't either. The only way to stop the world from well, yeah, war no. is to unite under the United Soviet Socialist Republics. <laughs> Not gonna happen, buddy. Yeah, but Matt Murray, 
that where you're under the you're under the uh, you're under the assumption that uh, socialism and communism actually work. Yeah, they think. So uh, yeah, I I really I can't even tell if he's trolling right now. Ah, who knows? <laughs> someday, one day. Nah. Well, the Mongolian. If you mean by someday, you mean in the Iranian ashes of the previous world from the nuclear war, then sure. Then maybe, yeah, but. You know, when it's not even actually a world anymore, it's just a ball of dust. Yeah, dude, that actually makes me really excited to play Frostpunk. Because <laughs> when you play Frostpunk, you play, like, the last human city on Earth. Mm hmm. Pretty cool. I really want to play that crap. You know, Alex, I'm curious because now you you got me thinking about fiction. But um, what are like some of the most ti like what are some of the cliches or like plot points or whatever that you're most tired of seeing or that you just personally do not like? Um, I don't know. Like, I guess plot twists that are insanely easy to predict because. I have seen so freaking many of those. I've seen so I've seen so many movies now where I know exactly how it's going to end 30 minutes in. And hmm. I'm just really tired okay. of it. I mean, there's sometimes predictability is all right as long as the movie's entertaining. I, sometimes, but like But I I I personally hate things like The Liar Reveal. <laughs> you know, I yeah. fucking hate liar yeah, Jin says, plot. Or, Jin says or, plot twists are no longer no longer become plot plot twists. Yeah, but it's like the liar revealed, or these two are bickering, but are obviously going to get together at the end of the movie. Yeah, or the uh, the I ragtag band of misfits thing. Yeah, that's like not I'm even special anymore. It used to be like, oh man, look at these, look at these guys. They they don't they're usually the go underdogs. together, but they're going together now. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, I know they're united by the fact that they're social outcasts. Only, only I this can succeed if the imperialists of America and Arabia must end so that the wood can, World can follow, follow in the, the steps, steps of the new, new communist. communist. Okay. But not I, but I us. feel like I feel like uh, that's um Jin that Jin, that is a perfect summation of the DCU in movies yeah let's yeah, just make it gritty but without let's just make it gritty but without it giving any consideration to character or plot progression yeah <clears throat> like there you go there you go we're gonna have batman shoot people okay but why <laughs> um no reason does we're gonna, have, we're gonna have superman be a lifeless husk who constantly doubts himself and thinks that he's not worthy of humanity despite him being the most bright character yeah. In all of DC fiction, why? Oh, money. I mean, <laughs> damn it. Well, no, Batman needs his dark backstory, but he needs a counterbalance. He needs some sort of counterbalance. Batman the animated series did this well because he wasn't all grim, dark, and depressed and angsty and shit. Yeah, he had some hope in his life. He still had some light in his life. Violent, well, violent Batman is just Batman. Like that's just Batman. yeah. Batman is no just no matter what version violent. of Batman, he that's just, just Batman. He just doesn't kill people. Yeah, it's just he does. He shouldn't kill people because that's not his character. Unless he's in Elseworlds where it makes sense. Like like Owl Man. Owl Man is the criminal version of Batman, so that makes <laughs> sense why he killed people. It says Batman animated series. What a classic. He's right, but Justice League is better just by my standard. Like I just think Justice League is really good. Or, or, you know, Justice League. Justice League's a good example of how to do Batman. He's still his dark, gritty self, and he doesn't exactly trust everyone, but he's still friends with people like Superman. Yeah. I mean, the reason we like that... Killing the joke... Well, yeah, but... And, and it's funny, because in the Under the Red Hood story, the animated version, he, he admits that he wants to do all the horrible, torturous things that Joker's dealt out to others and kill him, but he doesn't want to cross the line. Yeah. Which, because he's, like, maybe he's so mentally shattered, like, by his parents' death and all that, that he feels he, if he went there, he wouldn't go back. Yeah. He'd be okay. like, this is the only option for me now. Which really speaks to shades about Bruce Wayne. Give that man a therapist. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, today we are in the world's darkest hours of the world. The new German Reich is expanding a borderless country into a massive empire. North Korea and China and even Indochina are falling. But we can oh. stop. Wait. Wait, wait, what? what? Wait a second. <laughs> you think North Korea falling is a bad thing? Yeah, I don't. I don't. There's 22 I million people trolling. starving. It's, it's, he's trolling. He's definitely trolling. Okay. Look, Stony <laughs> Anyways. Man, let's, let's admit, let's admit up front Batman could save so many more people if he funneled all of his money and resources that he had available into programs to help the youth and. You know, like, you know, like, uh, programs to just help people in general and not beating people's faces in. Yeah, also, Jim he says he hates this chicken pox every time. Tony Mix says the EU is cancer, and with that, guys, it is noon, so it's time to end the stream. But, guys, if, if anybody has been watching this and you enjoyed, then please feel free to leave a like and subscribe because it helps out so, so much. And um, mm -hmm. we will be back tomorrow, perhaps, with Guild Wars 1, if Dizzy wants. If not, we will be back in Hearts of Iron 4, probably doing the same thing. I don't know, I kind of feel like I might want to uh, like just finish Reconstruction and then maybe just get a little bit of the uh, Americas under my belt. And then, and then I guess we can just start a new campaign somewhere else. But for now, I want to thank everyone so much for watching, and I... We'll see you guys next time.